Google Plus has some powerful tools to help you add media to your posts. Pictures, images, links, that kind of thing. So let's take a look at a few of those. So if we go in to write a new post, we have our text box at the top. We can write what we want to write. And our privacy controls at the bottom decide who we want to share it with. Um, let's say our personal circle. Uh, these little icons on the right here, too. Uh, to add photos, add video, add links. So to add photos, click the photo icon. There's a few different ways to do it. You can create a whole album of photos. You can just add photos from your hard drive. Or this one that I think is pretty cool. If you have an Android device, um, you can set it so any photo taken on your device is uploaded here automatically, privately. No one else can see it, and it certainly is an option on your phone, but it's quite handy. Um, videos do this as well. You can click this. It shows all the videos I've taken on my phone recently. So I can quickly, I shared this one the other day. I can just click it, say that one, and um, this was a picture I was trying to take of the gas pump, but it turned off just in time. So it didn't, didn't work out so well. Uh, but I can add those to my post, and there they are. It's really cool. I used it once at my daughter's birthday party. Throughout the party, I went around with my camera taking pictures of the festivities. And then while everyone was eating cake, I sat down real quick. All the pictures were sitting on Google+. I went click, 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 shared it with personal, and was done. It was beautiful. Um, same thing's true of videos. You can upload videos here a few different ways. Again, from your phone, pulls those out. Uh, the YouTube link, of course, being Google, they have great integration with YouTube. You can search in the box uh, for things you want to find. Uh, choose to add a video that way. If you have an exact link to a video, you can just paste it in there and grab it. Uh, you can pull up a link. It'll show your YouTube videos to see what's there. You can share one of those real easily. Add those in. They're right in line with the post. Um, or you can add a link. And the cool thing with the links is if we add this, um, we'll add Facebook just because it has a number of pictures on it. I want to show you something here. I didn't show any of the pictures. That's fine. Um, let's try a different one here. Let's say uh, Google Earth blog here. We'll add that. There we go. Uh, so it'll have this little short description, which in this case I'd probably remove because it's not a great description. Uh, but it has a number of photos, too, and you can click through and choose the photo that's most relevant for what you're trying to talk about. Um, that's a cool picture of Google Earth. So I could say something like, check out the great site below, see what it has going on there. You have those, and then you can also share a location. You add your location. Um, I just allow it for my browser here. And it'll pin that down there to roughly where it thinks you are. It's pretty close. Um, so you can add a variety of media to your posts. The one downside is um, you can't mix and match a lot of it. Like, I have a link there. And picture, you know, the pictures, then I can't add a picture to go with it, too. You have to do them in separate posts. And you can't add multiple videos that can be um, all embedded. You can, you can link to more than one, but only embed one at a time. The pictures, you can add a small gallery and works very well. Um, so there's a few things I'd like to see them work out there. You can do richer posts. Um, the other downside is, well, you can add a link at the bottom. You can certainly add a link in here. You know, there's no way to link that properly with nice anchor text. You just have to say, you know, visit Google here and then put a link to it, rather than being able to highlight the word you know, Google and have that link over. So hopefully they'll add some features for that, but I think they're trying to keep things simple too, which is certainly to be commended uh, for doing that. So, But that's how you can add some media to your posts, and uh, media-driven posts, of course, certainly are a lot more popular. Uh, you know, give people something visual. You find a lot of posts that have pictures and videos, and you know, really brings things to life. So I uh, highly recommend you use that feature, and if you have a, a Google Android device, uh, whether it's a phone or a tablet, install the Google Plus app and it'll ask, it'll say, hey, do you want us to upload all your pictures and videos automatically or do you want to do it manually? And again, I do it automatically simply because no one else can see them until I choose to share them. But then if I do want to share them, they're right there, easy to share, and it works great. Thanks.